They're plugging in, switching on, and lighting up in the electromechanical systems class at Central Tech. Joe Carter is the instructor. It's a, a class built to teach the students industrial automation, industrial technology. So it's a class that basically goes from basic electrical theory all the way up to programming PLCs or process control loops. Even robotics. Robotics has taken over. We just did a tour at a Whirlpool plant and the students couldn't believe all the robots they had actually in, in line running. and. Uh, Everything's going automated. I mean, if you watch it, go to a drive-thru at McDonald's, you see automation, taking your soda cup around and filling it up. That's all automated, and it basically could be called robot. They'll learn how to program them, basically. They'll learn how to troubleshoot. I want to give them enough foundation, and then the companies that I've been trying to partner with want the students to come in, and then they'll teach them their own stuff. And there's a demand for Joe's students. There's such a need for industrial maintenance mechanics out in the field. They're, they're aging out, and so they're just desiring more and more young, young hands to get in. A student that come out of here would shoot through an apprenticeship program versus having a 4,000 hour program to go through if they were just transferring from one line to become a mechanic or a maintenance technician. So it, it cuts down about two years of their training on site. Student Blake McLaughlin says it's the hands-on he enjoys. It's a good industry to go in for a future job, and I like working on stuff electronically and doing manual stuff on the computer and setting up ladder logics. An evolving industry where electromechanical graduates are making a nice starting salary. This is why. Anywhere from 18 to $27, depending upon the education level and if they've got some prior experience. We, we've got some companies out there that are doing some internships at $18 an hour. Students also have the chance to earn their NIMS certification, which stands for National Institute for Metalworking Skills. They'll be able to certify in any of the nine various areas, and these certifications will be recognized basically worldwide. Blake says the future looks bright. It's a really good job security, like because we took a field trip to a manufacturing whirlpool, and the guy there uh, told us about what, what we're doing. If we go through, all the way through it, we will have job security for the rest of our life and not have to worry about it. Now Joe says, don't let the name of the class scare you. Come in, look around. You start, everything's a building block, so you start with the very basics and you work your way up and look at the industry. Go out there and look at the jobs that are available. I mean, I, I pull up 10 or 12 a day and show it to the students of all the different jobs that are right here in Oklahoma. Hands-on education for jobs needing workers close to home.